Good morning. This my name is Jamie Shaw. I am a senior CAD support specialist with the Illinois Department of Transportation, and this is going to be part two of processing survey data. Uh, part one was doing it in SS10. This is going to be an open roads designer. So we have our DeWitt County Bridge survey. Um, we're going to open open roads designer. And then we're going to create a new file, navigate to our folder, and then we're going to name it the same thing, except we're going to put behind it so we can differentiate between the two. And just looking at my seed file, I can tell my seed file is wrong. Uh, and this is a step I didn't really cover in the SS10. When you set up a new drawing, a survey drawing, and it needs to be a 3D drawing. So hit browse and then click I got ENG 3D seed. And then you have your ORD extension on it. So hit save and it'll create an ORD drawing, a 3D ORD drawing. Wait for ORD to open up a little bit. And like I specified in the SS10 drawing, um, all your coding and everything, all your uh, linking codes are all built into the back end of the survey settings. So it's pretty much the same process in ORD and just uh, just a new fresh look. So, uh, But the survey processing is very similar. This already takes a little bit longer to upload because it is actually um, a 64-bit program. Um, SS10 is a 32-bit program, so that's the difference between the two. So you have the, the Explorer tab here in ORD, and we have all these tabs up here across the top. I'm going to pick Survey. Like I said before, if you don't have Explorer, or if you don't have all these tabs on Explorer, you want to go to File, which is, this is called the Backstage. Go to Settings, and go to Explorer Settings. And Explorer Settings looks a little bit different, but it still has the same information in it that it has before. You want the file, visible items, resources. I don't have resources visible. With open Roads Model, set to Yes. Sheet Index, set to Yes. Links, set to No. I have the links turned off. Open Road Standard IVS, Survey IVS, Drainage Utilities Model IVS, and then all these other settings. If you want your uh, Explore settings to look like mine do, show in a tab format, change this to tab. If you don't, leave it in a group panel and it'll, it'll look a little different as a group panel. So that's where you get all your Explore settings. So you hit the survey data hit the arrow and it pulls down you drill down into where you get default where you get fill books at and it's the same process you go right click new it creates a new fill book drill down there's your new fill book highlight it and the options are a little bit different but it's the same pretty much the same concept um, so you want to import file using text import wizard this time we'll use the CSV. It has, pretty much has the same data in it that the other one had in it, but it's comma separated. So we want to hit next until it it's comma. You can extend these boxes out so you can see all the data. And we're going to walk into the next one, which we're going to do the exact same thing. Set our point name, our northing. Easting, elevation, code, code, and code. And then once we have all that done, we hit finish. And yes, we want to create a TIW file. We'll call this one uh, just like we did before. Yes, save the import format. And it'll take a little bit, another process down here in the right corner. <clears throat> we'll 
Open Roads will say not responding. Don't worry about it. It's not freezing up. It's actually processing the survey data. And just like in SS10, you see the data file. You see the all point features. You notice there's no linear features. So do the zoom extents. It brought all our points in. They look a little different because it's a little different in RD. Um, RD, the points are kind of annotated. So I think if you bump them up, you'll be able to see them more. You see the text go up a little bit. And then we have go to the home tab, go to our level display, and we want to turn everything off. Leave SPC cell on utilities, uh, and we want oh, I forgot. <laughs> okay, so leave our SPC cell on, and Openers Designer is a little different. I forgot. Uh, go to your Analyze tab, and you have all the Names, field codes, elevations, descriptions, all this stuff is now a decorator. So you see I have name, I have, uh, so if you turn names, click on names, those numbers went off. So names, if you click on field codes, there's a field code, there's the elevation, description, you know, if you have all this other stuff. So we don't really want to see the elevations and we really don't want to see the names. We just want to see the point code. And you can see in here that it's defined a little bit better so we want to create a linear feature so we're going to go new and it's the same process we're going to pick on 664 and we're just going to run with 664 to create the center line of the road Six sixty seven, I think it's the center on the bridge, so you can include it. So that's an eight sixty four, not a <laughs> so we might want to remove eight sixty four out of there. I don't know. Um I'd have to go look at the point code list and see what an 864 is. We'll just leave it for now because it looked like it was in the center of the road. But you want to have your point list with you when you're doing this, you know, and verify the numbers that your surveyor shot. Um, actually, your surveyor should be the one processing this. If, you know, if he didn't use linking codes, then he should be the one processing this and building all this. Open Rose Designer is different that it works on linear features, and that is why you need to build all the linear features in here. Once you're done with the center line of the road, connecting all the 664s, go accept, and it'll do the same thing. It creates a default line style. You want to go there, except the once you highlight the default, you want to go to make sure you're in the survey workflow and on the primary tab, hit details. And it's the same in here. You change the code to 664, enter, change the linear feature name to 664. And there you have your linear feature. Now next you want to do the 665s. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go new linear feature and we're going to start 665 that's a 665 and an entrance so same with that one that was double coded for an entrance that one's double coded for an entrance that one back to 665 and you just keep rolling down through here until you get everything so, and you notice there's a curve in here. Um, I can show you how to edit, edit it so it looks like a curve. Um, 
So it looks like there's a jog out. There's a 665 there. There's a... Can't tell there, but it don't look like it. 665, 665. And when you do the other side of the road, you want to do a 665 one, like I explained in the SS10 video. That way it can differentiate the sides. And you just keep going along until you get all your 665s in there and then accept it when you're done and I'll create the edge of pavement. And then you'll have to go through it. I don't know if there's a 665 there or not. And we'll leave it at that, an 860, and stop there. Then we want to accept that. Go to default. Click on details. Change that to 665. On the other side, you'll want a 665.1 as the linear feature name, 665. You'll hit a one here and put it in. That way it can differentiate between the left and right side of the road. Now down in here, we have a curve in here. We have a couple curves. So what we want to do is click on it, go manage point list. And we started at point eight, so we can give it a start. And we can walk down through until we find where the start of the curve is. If you click on the edge of it, it'll highlight the point. You can see the little highlight there. Um, I think we'll start the curve at 132. Um, you can do a non-tangent PC. And probably down to there. Let's see where I'm at. And I'm just, I'm not, I'm just kind of guessing here. So, um, change that to a non-tangent PT. And see, none of this changes until you actually hit accept. Now let's change this one to a non-tangent PC and then roll through the other curve, which is going to be down here a little ways. Probably about right in there. We want to put a non-tangent PT in there. And then the last point, we will put a end. And then once you accept it, see it did all kinds of goofy stuff there. So, And this is where you go back and go to undo. But you can, you can assign curve points in there, PC, PT. Uh, you can do it to get the curve in there correctly. Um, I did something wrong, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. I'm just trying to show you. Let's try it on this one. You know, the curve's going to be... And I don't even think you have to have... Well, let's go back to the center line. I don't even think you have to have... Um, let's turn on the name so we know... So say 132. I don't think you have to have a start and end. Um, start PC. And you can see it's starting to curve. It's starting to show you. And then go down to uh, say 215. I think it was Arc PT I should have had up there instead of Start PC. Uh, Arc PC. And you can see it's it's putting a curve in there now. So except that it changed it to a curve. So you get the general idea how to get your curves to look right stuff in there instead of just 